There are just a few tricks to learning how to spray paint an object. Once you know how, there's no end to what you can update. Now remember, there's a huge variety of paints for plastic, exterior use, or that hold up to high heat or provide rust protection are great for touch-ups and maintenance. Now you want to make sure you start with a clean, dry surface. Spray on a primer coat if the product isn't a paint and primer in one. You want to also make sure that you shake the can really well. Sometimes the spray can sputter a bit. You don't want to point the can straight at the item and start or you'll end up with this, drips. Start spraying off the object. Come across it and don't let go of the button until you're off the item again. You want to hold the can about six to eight inches away from the object. Now this will vary according to the product you're using. Turn or move around the object so you're spraying head on. This helps get even coverage into all the nooks and crannies. Overlap your spray pattern with each pass and coat the entire project versus working in stages. You want to make sure you let it dry in between coats, usually about an hour, but you want to also make sure you check the instructions on the can. Clear the tip after each use. You want to hold the can upside down and spray until only a clear gas comes out. Now if the spray tip clogs, wipe it off with warm water or lacquer thinner depending on what the paint is made of. Don't try to clear it with a pin or a wire. Now here are a couple of more tips. You want to work in an area with good ventilation away from sparks or flames. The vapors could ignite. Keep the can away from heat which could cause the can to burst. And always wear gloves and eye protection and a mask to avoid breathing in the vapors. Also look to control the overspray which could drift onto anything nearby. A spray gun trigger helps cut down on hand fatigue. For more tips and advice visit your neighborhood Ace and find us online at acehardware.com.